Hey, man. Long time, uh, long time no see. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Doing well. I can't complain. Um, August 2009 was the last time that you fought here in Hawaii. Does it feel uh, like a long time coming to be back? Oh, yeah. It's definitely, it's, I'm at home, but the fight week and everything's been so foreign for me because I'm just like waking up every day, like, I just like I'm just going to practice again. So, I mean, it's great though. It's meant to be. That's, that's, everything happens for a reason and that's why I'm here. Is it weird, like, staying in a hotel that's so close to home and stuff like um, that? I mean, it is, but I just appreciate it. I take it in, and, yeah, just Waikiki is Waikiki. And um, I, fortunately, I only indulge in Waikiki when the boys or all my friends and family come over, and I play tourists with them. So it's not that bad. I love it. What's the, what's the Bellator experience been like so far? I know you've only had, like, a couple of days, you know, Oh, good. Here. Very, um, they, they treat me well. Everything's re um, very easy and convenient, making this, making fight week. Just like Hawaii, smooth and calm. <laughs> I love it, man. Um, you're, you're, we talked about this earlier, but you know, you've got a. This is not an easy matchup they're giving you for your first one. You got Emmanuel Sanchez. Um, what are your kind of thoughts on this one, and, and just what's at stake here? Just the moment and the opponent. Uh, great question, bro. I'm just excited to give back to all my friends, family, and fans, man. Like, I haven't fought here, and ever since I started fighting out of Hawaii, I've always just wanted to come back and give back to the fans, and I'm happy that he took this opportunity, even going up in weight class. So, if there's anything I'm expecting is his high cardio and him having an easy weight cut. So, we can definitely have a good fight April 23rd, because I'm going to show him all my aloha. Yeah, and were you pretty familiar with him when, when his name came across? Was it a name that you had recognized? Oh, yeah, I keep up with all the good fighters. But I, like, I, like, I, I appreciate guys that give good fights, and yeah, he's one of them. And I'm glad I can get the, um, go in there and get tested. Yeah, and I know for, for the fans, they love when they see two exciting guys get matched up. Uh, is there part of you that, that, that enjoys that too in a, oh, in a weird always, way? Oh, always, bro. I yeah. mean, I'm in this business to entertain, bro. That's, that's the job, and that's all I'm always looking for. What's the, uh, what, you know, how many people do we think coming out to see you are going to have a large contingency in the, uh, the Blaisdell Center? I mean, I, I think so. I should. I mean, like, every, that's the biggest thing I've been um, worrying about is ticket sales because all the friends and family are trying to get it and I'm trying to give back as best as I can. Like, I bought a bunch of tickets just so my friends and family them could come. And yeah, bro, April 23rd, it's time to give back. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that giving back sentiment, I mean, you talked about that a couple of weeks ago when you were talking about this fight coming up. And yes, you're giving back by being on this card and being able to celebrate Hawaii MMA, but there's a lot to be earned for you in this fight. And so how much do you embrace what lies ahead and the opportunity that lies ahead? Oh, man, um, embracing it, like, wholeheartedly. It just... Everything that's happening, I'm waking up and like I'm just meant to be like when I first started getting out there and representing, man. Like, it's a. If there's anything I wanted to do in a fight was, after representing was being here and fighting, and now this is my opportunity, and like that's why I feel like. Everything happens for a reason, man. I'm here and I'm just happy, bro. I'm happy to fight to, um on Saturday, man, and. I earn to give myself the best performance I can, and I, and I want to give that back to Hawaii. Everyone's talking about the last time you fought here was 2009. That was actually on Maui, right? Yeah, it, yes. And so to be fighting in the new Blaisdell Center, I mean, that's, that's the Madison Square Garden of Hawaii when it comes to the Hawaii fight game. And so how much respect do you have for that building, and what's it going to be like to walk out there? That's, that's a big one for us, too, because growing up, Fighting in the Blaisdell or competing in the Blaisdell is, you know, the pinnacle of what was happening in on in the sport. So, when I was growing up watching all these MMA fights, the biggest ones were in the Blaisdell, and I never get to, I never got to fight in the Blaisdell. And you know, April 23rd is gonna be my first time, and I'm gonna represent Hawaii to the fullest. Hey Yancy, you know, you mentioned representing Hawaii. You are not the only you know, representative of the state here this weekend on the cards. How, how much pride is that for you with knowing that, you know, there's just a big contingency of local fighters on this card representing in their home state? Um, it's always good. It's always great when you go to war and you got your soldiers, you know, the soldiers right next to you. It's, you know, it's a big motivation. Before I've had, I've had um, 
one, maybe two guys like on the card. Now I got five, six, seven guys yeah, I know of, and then a lot of them is from you know outreach to Hawaiians, and you know how we get together and war comes, bro. All the Hawaiians come in tight, so we're all gonna represent April 23rd, and I'm happy to be fighting with my brothers and sisters. Woods. Yeah, so you've had a legendary career thus far, but this is your first time in Bellator. What are you looking to do in Bellator that you haven't done in your career previously? That's a good question. Right? I mean, I come with, I, I come to entertain, and I, I just, and every company I go into, I'd be the best company man I, man I can, right? And just entertain. And I took this fight on a one fight deal just so I could give back and give back to Hawaii and show Bellator that I'm here to be a company man and give you guys a show. Pay the bills, man. Take care of my responsibilities. Go forward from there. Keep living with Aloha. Next up, Mills. Hey, how's it going, Yancy? MMA Locker Room, part of Puff Sports Radio. What's up, brother? Hey, I met you once out here in Anaheim at the Nick Diaz fight when he uh, beat up uh, Anthony Pettis, man. You gave me a picture, man. I'll never forget it. You're a uh, real one for that. Hey, next time I see you there, come back again and get you another one. <laughs> always, always. So with it being 420 right here, man, I know you said earlier that, you know, it's always uh, good to have your soldiers uh, behind you. Yeah. I seen that the Diaz army was trying to get on this fight card, man. Uh, how did that actually go? And uh, did you actually reach out to Scott Coker to get anything uh, hooked up with that? No, I mean, that's just what you mean. With, when, what were you talking about when Nate tweeted out? Yeah, Nate said that he wanted to come join you yeah, out there. Yeah, bro, Nate just being Nate and just, you know, being a, uh, a genius and a gangster and giving me clout at the same time. That's my that's my brother, bro. Or in Hawaii, we call it Palala. That's definitely someone I, you know, I'm very close to and look up to. And, yeah, he's just being the homie, giving me some clout, letting the Twitter get wild for a minute, you know. And, yeah, that's what it was. But he's here. He's here to watch the fight and support me. Yeah, see, I got to feel good, man. You know, the, out there to white just to support your boy. That's a real army right there. Soldiers for life. Hey, let's go ahead and get this win Saturday. 100. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Dylan. What's up, Yancey? Thanks for taking the time. Uh, we know you're a bit of a Bob Marley super fan. Do you listen to his music right before heading to the cage? And how has Marley's music influenced you as a fighter or just as a person? Uh, Bob Marley, I just love, bro. Like, like he's just all about love. He operated out of love, and he used music to do that. Fortunately, I can, I, I'm a, you know, I fight, so I use my fighting, but I can, I can perpetuate my law. I always listen to Bob Marley. I named my daughter after his song, Kaya. So, you know, he's a big influence in my life, but not like just his music, but you know how he just wanted to bring everyone together, bro. And that's definitely something. I know I was born to do, and I'll keep doing. <laughs> One love. Yes, sir. Good luck, brother. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, bro. Uh, 